What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking dead family, my fighters. I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead universe and Carl is back. Well, no. Yes. Maybe. Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. Definitely slight spoiler. It's definitely a spoiler if you haven't seen season 11, episode 18 yet. It's not a big deal, but I don't want to ruin anything for you guys. Well, Carl is not back, but it's a pretty cool decoration of the owners of the pudding house in Sonoy. So it's a cool photo going around. Photo credit to Chris Twelman of the German Abraham, and it's someone, the owners of the Pudding House, I'm guessing, put up this skeleton that's dressed like Carl or Coral, and it's just a fun thing. And it takes me back to when Carl was kind of an up and coming character, and sadly they killed him off, and the show hasn't been the same for a lot of people, but it takes me back to, you know, season four of The Walking Dead, which was a good season. I think seasons four, five, and six are the peak of The Walking Dead, and it doesn't get any better than that. Just looking at young Chandler Riggs here on top of the roof, the walker reaching out for him, the can opener, the giant can of pudding that he ate, that just had to wreck his stomach, right? I'm just imagining that, like, oh man, I'll feel sick after that. He's missing a shoe. It's just one of those things where it takes you back to nostalgia. If you go back and watch previous episodes of The Walking Dead or you see these photos, it takes you back. And for those who don't know, the Pudding House is in Sonoy. It's right behind Alexandria, actually. If you ever took a tour from the Georgia Tour Company, Atlanta Movie Tours, the Water Tower Tours, any other tour group in Sonoy, I'm pretty sure you get to see the pudding house. It's a pretty cool house, no garage, but it's pretty cool. And if you've never been there, I definitely recommend it. Also, did you know that Chandler Riggs' stunt double was a woman, at least when he was younger, probably the same height. And I think the woman was in her thirties. I, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she was an older woman, just very small and petite. But it's pretty cool when you think about Carl and the recent callback to Carl when he was reading the Invincible comic, that's Robert Kirkman's other comic, one of his other comics, and RJ is reading a comic, Invincible, in season 11, episode 18. It's a nice callback to Carl and Robert Kirkman's Invincible. A little Easter egg as well. But how do you feel about Carl going away? You know, a lot of people did not like the character and I wasn't the biggest Carl supporter, but I think the bigger thing is how they killed him off. I was fine with him dying, but the fact how they killed him off in such a cheesy way, getting bit by a walker, like Carl was raised in the apocalypse. He would know better, especially how old he was in the apocalypse. Come on, right? So we'll never get to see old man Carl. Will we get to see old lady Judith? I hope so. But I do like the fan art and the discussion topic of Carl and old man Carl. Now, if you saw the cast photo from the final shooting day of The Walking Dead, if you look all the way to the right, the three red circles, you see Norman Reedus, Angela Kang, and behind Angela to the right, I believe that's Chandler Riggs. It's blurry, but I'm guessing that is Chandler Riggs based on the haircut and the face. So could we see him in the final episode of The Walking Dead, like a background character, shorter hair, uncredited? Maybe. So could Carl, well, Chandler Riggs, be returning for the final episode of The Walking Dead? That'd be pretty cool if they snuck some actors back into the series as uncredited or walking by or something, right? Because I would assume majority of the characters are gonna live. Maybe he's in the Commonwealth, maybe Hilltop or Alexandria, I don't know. But it's a pretty cool Halloween decoration, Skeleton Carl at the Pudding House. Definitely check it out if you haven't been there. Thank you guys, let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. I'm excited for the ending of The Walking Dead, it's bittersweet forward to end, but we want to see if it's worth the wait, if it's epic, awesome, or disappointing. Or, eh, maybe. It was alright. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe, and as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love